You measured 39 dogs' weights and find they have a mean weight of 65 ounces. Assume the popula population standard deviation is 4.9 ounces. Based on this, what is the maximal margin of error associated with a 90% confidence interval for the true population mean dog weight? Give your answer as a decimal to two places. Okay, so we can create a calculator that would only require entering the sample mean, the population standard deviation, and the sample size, and the confidence level, and then everything else will calculate for us. Now the first time we do it, we have to set it up, and then after that, you can just have to change these values to get new answers. So uh, let's enter the information in this problem. We have a standard deviation deviation and a mean given so let's put that in so we have the mean of 65 and the standard deviation of 4.9 the sample size is 39 dogs that were measuring their weights and the confidence level is 90 percent so we'll put that in as 0.9 then the um, tails would have a total area of 1 minus the confidence level. The individual tails will each have an area of half of this alpha. And then instead of having t scores, since sigma is known, we're going to have z scores for our critical values. And the way to get z scores is using norm dot inv with the left area. Now my left area is stored in C5 and my probability after entering my probability I'll enter my mean and my standard deviation. So that's my negative critical value and my positive critical value is the absolute value of the negative one. So now I have my positive critical value, which I will need for calculating the margin of error, which is what we've been asked to do, right? Based on this, what is the maximal margin of error? So that's our E. Now E is calculated by taking the critical value, the positive critical value, times the standard error. So the critical value, the positive critical value, is 1.645 if you round it. The standard error is the population standard deviation divided by the square root of n. And yes, we want to accept that correction. It was just that I didn't give it a set of parentheses that it wanted, but it fixed it for me. So now that I have the critical value and the standard error, I can multiply those to get my margin of error. And finally, uh, if, if I was asked to calculate the confidence interval estimate, I would take that margin of error and I would subtract it from the sample mean. So the sample mean minus the margin of error and the sample mean plus the margin of error. And I would have my interval estimate boundaries. So let's see, we were only asked for the margin of error, and it says to round to two decimal places. So 1.29 should be my answer, but why is it plus minus? I guess it is plus minus because you add it and subtract it. 2.9, enter. Yes, indeed.